universe with so many unanswered questions, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstripe our collective comprehension. We will shed light onto the darkness. We will explore the universe to find what is really out there. We are the disclosure. We are the order of Hey everyone, it's Robert Earl White with the Order of Light and recently I had someone, Mark Weber, send me a photograph with something quite compelling in the clouds, hovering there, just sitting behind the clouds, partially sticking out. He was traveling to Jackson Hole, Wyoming on July 28th last summer and he was snapping a bunch of pictures. Little did he know, once he returned home and went over his photographs, in the one photograph, he noticed a large, oblong, weird stone, metallic, I don't even know what to call it, structure sitting out of one of the clouds. The real strange part is, he took another photograph, which was like three seconds after the first one. He was just snapping a few photos. And in the second photograph, it's not there at all. And him and I, we exchanged uh, emails back and forth trying to figure out what this was, going over everything you could imagine, and we kept hitting roadblocks and not being able to figure it out, how it was moving, whether it was dimensional or physical. We couldn't figure any of this out, and I'm going to be going over some of uh, his thoughts and opinions of what this could possibly be. And I want to encourage everyone that's watching this, please, if you have really any interesting, compelling photographs or videos, send them my way. I would love to do something. A uh, big thanks to Mark Weber for sending this out. You can find his information down in the description as well. This is a truly remarkable object sitting in the sky and these photographs are really quite compelling and we don't know what to make of them. So this is my attempt to get some feedback from all of you to see if any of you have seen this sort of craft or have recorded this kind of craft or had any insight or additional information on how this thing could be in one photograph and not the other. It's very strange. It definitely seems more than a counter of malfunction of any sort. This thing is deliberate. It's so strange. One of the coolest photos I've seen in a very long time. So please, before we start to go over these photos and some additional information, hit that like button, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So let's go over it. Blow these photos up. Let's take a gander. Here's what Mark said to me about his encounter in our exchange in our email. An anomaly appeared in a photo taken outside of a campsite this summer. It appeared to be in only one frame and is not visible in the very next frame taken three seconds after the first. We have been trying to identify what it is. I'm also attaching the second photo just taken a few seconds afterwards and there's nothing visible. You can see from the distant vehicle traveling on the road that the pictures are just moments apart and the cars are very visible and did not move that much in between these photos. We of course saw nothing until we looked upon the picture after arriving home. The picture is from July 28th outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. The car on the ground is traveling. If you're able to see the metadata, you will be able to find that these two shots are about three seconds apart. There is no apparent physical interaction with the atmosphere. You don't see the clouds moving, etc. If this object had physical mass moving through the air, there should be some signs of displacement, which he's right. There should be something going on in the clouds or the clouds should be, uh, you know, breaking apart, etc. There's nothing. 
There is no wake uh, interaction visible on the cloud. Nothing looks to be disturbed by its passing. I would propose that such an object of mass moving at the speed to accomplish this split second photo capture would create some sort of sonic boom or something like a clap of thunder, but he didn't hear anything. He didn't see the clouds breaking apart. And for a craft to be there one second and not there the other without disturbing the environment I I have no idea he has no idea and this is why we're trying to figure this out and we were trying to make sense of this and it was just so strange that it would be there in one photograph completely gone in the second photograph taken within three seconds of each other and that first photograph of it actually coming out of the clouds behind the clouds there should have been something going on there, you know? And if you look at the clouds in the second photograph, there isn't much of a change whatsoever. It's very strange. So if you would like to reach out to Mark, please email him. I will have it down in the description. Webersound at yahoo.com. Amazing guy coming from uh, Miami, Florida. And uh, this was a remarkable capture. So please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave down in the comments what you think this possibly could be. If you have any explanations of what's going on here, I would love to hear more about it. And please subscribe to the page. This is Robert Earl White with the Order of Light. We are the Disclosure. It's a new era of contact. everyone check out the order of light merchandise store we have we are the disclosure t-shirt the merkaba t-shirt humans aren't real t-shirt and the lower alloways creek t-shirt with a back design with the ufo and the men in black we also have a special edition jock double day seams t-shirt we got a lot of reptilian shirts shed in season the dare shirts and the rico reptilian with the back print with drano it's shed in season also, you can check out, we have cups, we have stickers, we have bags and hats and a lot of other things as well. So if you want to support the channel, a great way to do so is by getting some cool swag. Appreciate it.